Hey everybody, Jeremy here. Today I'm gonna to be trying out an MRE for the very first time. And the MRE that I'm gonna be trying is from Blue Line. So this is the XMRE Complete Ready to Eat Individual Meal Kit. And I got these from my parents actually. They had some of these the last time I visited them and they asked me if I wanted some and I said, yeah, sure. So the entree for this particular MRE is beef strips in a savory tomato sauce. So it sounds pretty good and I am hungry right now. So definitely want to try this out. Now I did do a little bit of research on this particular line of MREs just so I can know a little bit more about how this works. And I did learn about the lot number that you can find at the bottom of the bag that tells you when this was all put together. And these have a shelf life of about five years if it's stored properly. So just looking at this lot number on the bottom of my bag, this indicates that this was made in the year 2020 on the 79th day of the year. So I think that puts us at around maybe about March, mid-March, something like that. But if you keep these in a decent enough environment, they'll be ready for uh, five years without going bad. And everything is already cooked inside. You don't have to heat it up if you don't want to, or if you can't, you can just eat everything right out of the pouches if you want. But let me open this up, see what's inside of here. It's like we got everything that you need for a nice, fully balanced breakfast, as well as uh, some accessories. So starting right here, got ourselves a nice spoon, <laughs> plastic spoon with some napkins. And then we also have uh, some pepper and some salt in here as well. Inside of this little pouch here, this is the beverage based powder orange. So this is an orange, um, beverage powder, natural and artificial flavor with other natural flavor. Um, so 12 ounces of water and stir it up and allow water just chemically purify to stand for 30 minutes before adding it to the beverage water. All right. So got some beverage powder here. Good stuff from the Jainas Brothers Packaging Company in Kansas City, Missouri. Here is the garlic mashed potatoes, so garlic mashed potatoes inside of this pouch. In here, this is a pilot bread single, so bread, I guess, is in here. Um, this is the nutritional information for the beef strips and the mashed potatoes as well. We got some fig bars right here, awesome. And then the entree is the beef strips in savory sauce, all right here. All right, now one thing that I've seen with these MREs is that uh, some of them come with these heated pouches that you add water to and then you can slip them into a bag and then they will heat up. So if you don't have like a microwave or something like that because you're out in the field. This particular one that I have here does not have that at all. So I'm going to have to put these on a plate and I'm going to have to warm these up in the microwave and I'm going to do that. I'm going to come back and you'll be able to see everything that's the entree side of things. I'm going to get that set up in a minute, but first I want to try this powdered orange drink right here. Got myself a glass and I'm just going to open this up. I think I got this stirred up reasonably well. I can still see some bits floating around in there, but let me just take a sip of this. You know what this sort of tastes like? It sort of tastes like emergency. If you ever tried that, it's like a immune boosting drink. It's a powder, you pour it in water, and then you drink that when you wanna just boost your immune system, give you a better chance of not getting sick. That's what this tastes like, but it's not quite as medicinal as emergency, in my opinion. Um, it's definitely, it, to me, it's a little bit sweeter. It's a little bit more pleasant than emergency, but it's uh, definitely not like high C or Kool-Aid or something like that. Yeah, so on this packaging, it says that it contains 80% of the daily value of vitamin C. You can definitely taste it. All right, so that's pretty good. Um, let me open up these fig bars to see how these fig bars taste. All right, so it looks like I got three of them inside of this container, inside of this package here. It looks exactly how I would expect a fig bar to look. 
right? Let's give this a shot. It can taste exactly how I thought it would taste. If you ever had a Fig Newton, then you know what this is like. But it's pretty awesome considering that it's inside this vacuum sealed pouch going on about three years now. If you gave me this in a Fig Newton and said, hey, which is which or which one is older, I really wouldn't be able to tell you. You know, it tastes pretty good. It tastes nice and um, fresh, if that makes any sense. So yeah, big bar, good stuff. And now before I get to the entree, the single slice pilot bread. This probably would go better with the beef, but uh, we'll give it a shot anyway. Now this may look like a giant Ritz cracker, but I can tell you just by kind of feeling it, it doesn't seem like it has that really crunchy consistency. It seems pretty, I mean, somewhat malleable. Um, let me kind of break this. Oh, so it, it crunches pretty good, but it just has this really, the, the, the texture is smooth. That's the best way I can describe it. This bread doesn't have a whole lot of flavor to it, but at the same time, it doesn't taste stale. It's crunchy, not crunchy like a Ritz cracker is where it can just kind of just shatter and melt in your mouth, but it's not chewy. Decent crunch, but I definitely do think that this will go better with the entree because it's eating this by itself ain't a flavor in there for me so this is definitely something that you would have in the side mix it up with everything else all right cool so those are all the non um entrees but now i'm going to take these mashed potatoes and these uh beef strips and savory sauce put these out on the plate and come back and show you how these are back from the microwave and this is what everything looks like once it's been warmed up I don't think you can really see the mashed potatoes all that well because they're white, but definitely want to give these a good try. I really would have liked it if they had those, that pouch that you add water to so that you can heat these inside of the pouch. That would have been ideal, but that's not what we had. So let's kind of roll with it. All right, so the consistency of these garlic mashed potatoes are definitely what you would expect from garlic mashed potatoes. The smell smells like it. Let's give it a shot. So my first impression when I first start tasting these mashed potatoes is like, I'm like, hmm, that's surprisingly, that's surprisingly decent at first blush. But then there's this bit of an aftertaste to it. And the aftertaste sort of tastes the way that it smells. And I'm trying to put my finger on exactly what that is. I'm not sure how to describe it, but it's not very pleasant. Can I get through it? Yes, I can. But there's just something about this aftertaste for these mashed potatoes that's, to me, takes it down a notch. But the consistency is good. It's not soupy. They're not runny or anything. There's just some kind of ingredient in here that kind of just puts me off. All right, so now for these beef strips in the savory tomato sauce. It is a pretty decent amount of beef strips in here. They did not skimp on the beef strips. So I'm not gonna be able to get a spoonful of this without beef strips. Give it a smell. It smells right. Let's taste it. That's actually not bad. The beef was surprisingly tender. Let's just uh, get a little bit more, make sure that wasn't a fluke. Bigger bite this time. It's almost as if this beef was slow cooked because it's very easy to chew. It just sort of falls apart. The sauce for something that came out of a pouch is not bad at all. It doesn't leave that somewhat unpleasant aftertaste that these mashed potatoes are giving me. I thought it would, but it's not. This is actually pretty decent. And then also with these crackers, imagine you can put some of these on the cracker because like I said, these crackers are pretty plain by themselves. 
just add a little bit of um, texture to this. I like that. <laughs> For something that is three years old coming out of a pouch that I just put in the microwave, that's surprisingly good. I'm gonna get a second opinion. I'm gonna ask my wife what she thinks of this. So you just had the mashed potatoes. That was kind of my reaction, but I couldn't put my finger. Yeah, it's a little, what is it, garlic? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a little too much garlic. Like I like garlic, but this mm -hmm. is like just the amount of garlic. Okay, so they went like a little- mashed garlic, basically. Went a little too heavy on the garlic, just okay. a little too heavy for me. Beef strips and tomato sauce. That's not bad. Yeah, I thought that was pretty good. The beef yeah. strips, I thought the beef was pretty tender. Pretty tender and um, the sauce, it's, it's pretty good sauce. So my wife insisted that I leave the plate there because she still wanted some more of the beef. But as you probably heard, her opinion about the whole thing was very similar to mine. There was something off about those mashed potatoes and she thinks that it was an abundance of garlic. I couldn't quite put my finger on it. But I'll stand by what I said at the beginning and is that the initial taste from those mashed potatoes was actually pretty good until that kick of heavy handed garlic kind of just took over and it just kind of ruins it for me. So I don't really care for those too much. But we both agreed that the beef strips in the tomato sauce was actually quite good, um, especially the tenderness of the beef. The sauce itself was good as well. No weird aftertaste with that sauce. In this, not bad either. It's an orange drink, just has a vitamin C kick to it. A little bit medicinal, but not too bad. So overall, I would say that this is not too bad for my very first MRE experience. Now, I do have another MRE that I'm gonna be trying out with some different, at least a different entree inside of it. I can't quite remember what it is, but I'll do another video on that MRE so I can show you exactly how that one is and what I think about that. So stay tuned for that video coming up. Be sure to subscribe so that you'll know exactly when it drops. Thank you all so much for watching. Till next time, I'm Jeremy. Take care of yourselves. I'll speak to you soon.